Everyone's challenged. Everyone has created or agreed to obstacles for themselves. Your body is an obstacle. Your ideas are an obstacle. Your face is an obstacle. Your hands, your body is a, is a whole and it's part. It's all part of the obstacles. Your health is an obstacle. So what you think is an obstacle. What you see is an obstacle. Your perceptions are obstacles. So you're up to a point. <laughs> your breathing is an obstacle. Everything can be seen as an obstacle, something to get beyond, something to resolve. So your ideas, your history, your family, your karma, everything is an obstacle to agree. The way you view yourself is an obstacle. The way you don't view yourself is an obstacle. So everything can be seen as an obstacle to be put to the cause of alignment so that it isn't a problem. Education is an obstacle. Ability is an obstacle. Theory is an obstacle, and self is a, is a big obstacle. Yeah. Maybe one of the biggest obstacles of all. Yeah. Self. Self-created suffering. Yeah. Self-imposed neuroses. So, some would call it wrong thinking, others would call it oh, well, the right way to think. In, in, in terms of having an obstacle, you, you have to work hard to get beyond, which if you can get beyond it, you, you have clearance. <clears throat> Comment. So, so then practice is, is learning to move through one's obstacles? Well, recognizing? It, yes, you, you can say that spiritual practice is about accepting that the obstacles are real, they're born, right? Uh, they are inherent, uh, but they are also transformable. So, so they're not permanent, they're not real in that sense. They are tem temporary, okay. uh, let's say, uh, appearances. And so everything that shows up as an appearance uh, is, is wood for the fire transformation. That means that the whole universe is that. <coughs> And so we have to see what the field is that you are given by way of birth. You've got to work with your family karma first. That's who you are in the beginning. It's all you've got in the beginning, what you inherited. And what you need to work with, what you need to master, and then what you need to get beyond, because that's not who you are ultimately. That's what you've got to deal with. So you've got to make the distinction between what you have to deal with as other than who you are as an inner being which have to deal with in terms of a social being or familial be being or relational being or parental being or whatever, is one thing. That's the karma, that's the, that's the wave of karma that sustains you, keeps you uh, functioning as, a, as an ordinary human being <laughs> in terms of appearances. But you have to get beyond that in order to get to the deeper levels that access what we're talking about in terms of creative genius, which is way, way down the line for some, some maybe more, most people, but it's, it's a good idea <coughs> to have uh, in your mind and in your heart. See, that means doing more, for one thing, being uh, very, very, uh, let's say, specialized in a way, being extreme and being happy with being an extreme being, <laughs> a supreme being, we're talking about an extreme being. <laughs> Are you ready to be an extreme being? <laughs> Obviously, that's why you're here. <laughs>